I really, really hate reinstalling Windows, guys. Why, you ask? Because I tried to copy my Vegas installation over, because that's always worked before. But no, this time it didn't work. You know why? Because the hard drive had failed so badly that the program executable file was broken. So now I'm having to download DVD Architect Studio and Movie Studio because, well, first of all, Movie Studio just crashed when I tried to start it. DVD Architect Studio said it couldn't find the entry point, and then it was just a bunch of gibberish. So I don't even know. <sighs> At least they have a fast download server. What is going on there? I didn't even notice that until now. I did. What has happened here? Because that's like... That, that logically should have been going 900 kilobytes per second. Just saying. Anyway. To, to the subject matter of this video, the subject matter of this video was not to go on a rant about stupid Windows programs and PS2 is over here because I actually have one of the most popular hard drives for the PS2 in my possession now. And... I'm going to stick it in there. The only reason it's not screwed in right now is because I need to make sure I can get it configured properly um, drive level to get it to work. Now, this DVD duplicator is the actual subject matter of this video. I don't know how long it's actually been in service, but of course it's got a ton. It's got seven really nice IDE NEC hard disk, or not hard disks, optical drives. The hard disk that was in here, they think failed, but I don't think it did. Which is the reason I put it in my PS2. It sounded okay, although it was a Mac store, you know. It was Diamond Max 10. Wouldn't have been a surprise, although it didn't seem like it had. Plus, I was able to write to it, but it wouldn't burn anything written to it. So, really weird. So, I replaced it with a Western Digital 1200 from a computer at the church that this came from. One identical to that. The computer had two of them in it. It was a Dell Precision Workstation. 360, I think. I don't remember. It was an Avid. Because I actually dumped that onto my external hard drive, and because it just had a bunch of like recorded church services and stuff, I uh, dumped that onto my hard drive right there and so, I, so that I could use it here. This thing is really weird, because instead of actually formatting the drive when you turn it on and stuff, it pretty much just very forcefully writes over the disk. Like, it's... <laughs> Because this drive, I plugged it into my computer, opened the disk manager, and it just said, I don't even know what format this is in. Like, it, it said I needed to reinitialize the whole disk. So, that's, that's a thing. I have no idea if this, if this one has been rewritten, but, you know. I actually had to pick that lock to get the disk out. I used pieces of a pop can tab to do it. Kind of funny. Camera, would you at least try to focus? Let's see if it'll focus on this. Yeah, it will. Just being stubborn. Well, if you're wondering what we're going to do here, I'm going to turn it on, and then I'm actually going to um, try to copy the BitTrip soundtrack to a CD just to see if it'll work. It does say DVD duplicator on it. However, it does read CDs. I, I tested it. Uh, that was brilliant. Okay, there we go. My mom might be home. Leave that there. Well, I don't even know why I did that. I can just leave that on the spindle. <clears throat> but, yeah, it's got a very strange AT class 300 watt power supply in here. Toggles it to the bottom. I think it's just a computer case. Uh, has this little thing, this is the whole motherboard of the thing, it's got the IDE controllers and stuff. Um, so, all these drives are identical, and then up here, this is just a thing that lets you put a 3.5 inch hard disk in a 5 and a quarter inch drive bay, as there is not a single 3.5 um, inch drive bay in this system. And also, I figured out, I don't think it really needs to have a hard drive in there, but if you do have a hard drive in there... It's handier, I guess you could say. So, yeah. Um, it's pretty cool thing, but I just don't know if it works. So we're actually gonna try. 
making it work right now. And now the moment of truth. And this is a bit silly. I'm actually going to have to put... I'm going to put the camera on top of the PS2 since I just happened to have it in here because I kind of didn't think about the fact that I needed a tripod. If that'll... That's even a thing that I, that can happen here. I will do that. Um, I don't think that's a thing that can happen here. <laughs> I did not. I was not prepared. Because I'm such just such a genius. Okay. Well, I can hold it. But go ahead and turn it on. You can see. And fans have bad bearings, so if it starts getting really loud, that's why. Like that. By the way, as you can tell, it is really, really hard to see the screen on this camera for some reason. I don't know why. Or maybe it's just the camera's LCD, because it doesn't have very good color depth. Um, but, yeah, you can kind of see it, I guess. Protecting IE drives. I don't know why this takes so long, but there's something really funny here. Just watch. At least I thought it did. Maybe not. Or maybe it was when it turned it on that it lit up all the LEDs like that. There we go. It finished detecting. Detected the hard drive. I'm pretty sure I couldn't really tell. Well, it does have the load command, so I think it did. The skills. Dude, the skills. <laughs> I don't even know how I did that. That was awesome. Alright. Bit drip soundtrack. And I'm actually wanting a video capture card so I can like record bit drip games and stuff. That'll be cool. <laughs> Automatically checks the disc to find out what format it is. Let's hit run. I don't think it should take very long. I'm pretty sure the CD is not actually full. So. Besides the fact that these are probably pretty fast drives now. I don't know if you can hear the hard disk. I kind of can. Um, but. So, yeah. Um, just give it a little, a little while and I don't actually know if it works. So, on video we're actually going to find out for sure if it will burn the disk or not. Because that, that was the problem that the church was having. It's already 20% done. I'm not actually going to record that whole process, but, you know, just wait a while and it'll be done. Okay, so I wasn't actually recording when it finished, but it made a very, very high-pitched beep and ejected the disc, so it says remove, or remove, remove source disc, any key, exit. So, remove the source disc. That really hurt. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and get a blank CD. Stick it in here. I've never actually put a blank disc in the drive, so we'll find out together what it says. Okay, so I didn't really say it. I didn't actually say anything. But let's get to copy. Thank. There's instructions on the thingy over here. This is actually the case cover. So it just says copy and then run. 
and there's the image information down there that's stored on the hard drive. I'll hit run now. 48 times. Dang, these are fast. Dang. These are some pretty fast drives, man. All right. Wow, I actually scored with this. Like this Well, I mean, they didn't just go, "Hey, anyone want to have this?" My dad actually worked for the church, so he's like he's all like, "Hey, look, seven optical drives. Let's take them." <laughs> <clears throat> it does seem to be working. After this video, though, I don't actually have a use for a duplicator, so after this video, I'm just going to dismantle the whole thing and take them all out. The hard drive, everything. I actually put the hard drive in there, so I don't mind taking it back. So. Yeah. I'll actually remember to uh, start recording shortly before it finishes this time around. Don't you worry. Okay, and it looks like it's almost done. Let me tell you, one of these is immediately going in that enclosure over there. I had to remove its original one to put in an old computer because I ran out of other working ones. But hey, these are all like the exact same kind of drive, even though they're not LG. Okay, finalizing. It's actually just this closed disc, but... That's basically what that does. That's basically what that means. So, and there we go. Yeah, definitely worked. I don't, you can actually see that on the camera. Wow, this is a really good camera. You can see where the data burned to. All right. Now this is a really cool thing to have, and I mean. I really wouldn't mind keeping it assembled, but, I mean, dude, optical drives galore. I'm like, I'm not turning that down. I mean, quite frankly, I think, like, I had the hard drive unplugged and the load option just wasn't there and you could still do a direct copy. So I'm pretty sure, like, and even, I don't even really need this thing in there, but I could just plug a hard drive in. But, I mean, I could just stick a couple optical drives back in this thing and hook them up and it would duplicate them for me. So, and duplicate discs for me. See, like, this is the kind of thing that, like, I want to use what it's intended for, but I have better uses for them. I guess I'll leave it assembled for now because I don't have any immediate, immediate uses for these except I'm going to put one of them in that enclosure over there. Um. But, yeah. So, <laughs> that's actually pretty cool. But, I mean, like, I'm, if I still have drives in it by the time I finish Miscellaneous World, I might actually use it to make a bunch of copies of that to give out. Of course, you know, piracy of Half-Life, but it's not like I'm going to be... I'm not going to give away Half-Life on the internet. I'm just going to, like, anyone who, who gets an immediate a copy of it immediately from me won't have any trouble installing it. But other people will need to have... Half-Life Platinum installed on their computer. But yeah, that's pretty much all there is to this thing, so we'll go ahead and turn it off. Well, you did it all right there, hard drive? That, that was really vibrating when you spun down. That's not really normal for a Western Digital drive, but all right. All right. Now, let's go ahead and I'll take this over here and... Stick it in my computer and see if it actually plays. Um, <clears throat> oh, voice crack. <laughs> Come on, computer. I had dust on my finger, making it really hard. Minimize, minimize. Don't have enough room because somebody took a bunch of CDs and stuck them on my desk. I don't remember who that was. Okay, so I'll we'll stick the disc in here. Just thought I'd rub the disc on my charger cord. It's really a normal thing to do. Just 
go ahead and play it using Power DVD, apparently. I didn't know a Power DVD could play CDs. Very interesting. Well, that's... That's really cool. I did not actually... I had no hope of that thing actually working. So, it actually works okay. Fear of copyright police, to use UX of Bill's terms. Of course, this is the exact music that's in the game, and it was composed for the game, so I'm not exactly sure that that would cause any issues. But, you know, can't be too careful with copyright laws. Dang, camera, quit being all blurry. Alright, that's, that's pretty much it, actually. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time, and I will apparently have to try to get that hard drive out, but, eh, it's a bridge cross when I actually need the drive, so, alright, see you next time. Okay, so I just noticed something else very interesting about this, so you can't just go through these menus to choose commands and stuff, you can also do this. You can partition the drive in various ways so that you can store more than one image on the drive. Do all sorts of stuff, blah 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 blah. But if I were to go to advanced setup here, there's all sorts of stuff here. Show disk info, but this is really funny. No disk exists with a space between T and exclamation point, even though it's grammatically incorrect. Any key, exit. Show system info. This is actually basically what it. This is what it goes through when it turns the system on. Blah 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 blah. Shows the firmware number. NEC. Blah blah blah. Seven of those. And there's the eighth. It says 111 gigs, which is kind of funny because it's actually supposed to be 120. Um. Yeah. And, and there we go. I don't actually know what would happen if we stuck a disk in there. Like, let's take. Say the Ubuntu 14 disk. <clears throat> there we go. Get on show disk info and just that in there and. Run. Screen went blank. It's doing something. Checking. There's the disk information. That's kind of cool. It's in drive number seven, apparently. That's weird. It's at the top. But then again, the Western Digital's the very top, and it's eight, so. I guess the bottom one's probably one. I don't know. Maybe so. Like that's let's go ahead and stick this into the bottom one and see if that is one. Sorry, there's something stuck in the carpet right there and it's bugging me. There we go. Yep, number one. And to get out of all this, you go. There we go. Gotta move the disc. Just for the heck of it, we'll set the thing back to load mode. And now power. Here, I'm just gonna put it up to the hard drive so you can hear it spin down.
And there it went. <laughs> yeah. Now that really is it. I don't know. I don't know if anything else I can do with that thing now. Yeah, I really kind of wish that to take the optical drives out, I didn't have to take the optical drives out. If you know what I mean there. That sounded completely ridiculous, but I really do mean that. I, basically, I wish that I didn't have to remove them from this thing to put them in something else. Because this thing is really cool and I want to be able to use it. But I don't well, besides the fact that I don't even know what I could use it for, really. You know. It's just a really cool piece of technology. I don't really see places using them much anymore, except, you know, like churches and stuff. Because, well, churches and schools for the most part, because they don't have mass production kind of stuff. And, you know, people who make little movies and stuff and want to distribute distribute them themselves, they would probably use one of these. But, yeah. I don't even know how old this thing is, but hey. Pretty cool piece of technology. See ya.